I don't want this video to make you feel as if you need to buy a whole new wardrobe, okay? You do not. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is JC, if you're new here. As you can tell by the title, we have a Windsor haul and I'm going to be showing you guys my fall must-haves right now. Honestly, I don't even know where to start. I kinda just crammed everything on this rack. We're gonna start with shoes. These are probably my most worn boots. Honestly, I've been wearing these literally with every single outfit. I got these from TJ Maxx, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to find the exact link, but these are perfect heel is not too high it's not too low it still gives you that height if you're short just like me and they literally go with every single outfit like you can dress these up you can dress these down they're chill they're classy everyone needs a black staple booty these are another pair of boots that i'm obsessed with i live in i got these from steve madden so they are a little bit more on the pricier side but these are gonna last me forever they have a platform in the front so they are so comfortable to wear i literally wore these to work for like an eight and half hour day and they were comfortable these ones are suede and they just look so good with everything this is an outfit i literally wore to work the other day and i just wanted to show you guys because i thought it was cute this is the simplest outfit ever yet it looks so put together because i have a little booty with it these jeans are from Zara. They have like really good jeans. This sweater is a year old. I got it at Airy last year, but you can find a sweater like this anywhere. And I literally just took the colors of my boots and picked out my outfit around that. So it's all color coordinated. These are my newest pair of booties that I honestly haven't even tried on yet. Got these from Windsor. They are everything. I've never owned a white booty and I'm just so inspired by these things. I have a platform in the front, so I already know they're gonna be comfortable. Every time I get a booty, if it's a little bit higher, I try getting a platform because I don't know why. I guess it's like the height, but it's just more comfortable when it's a platform. And they're so freaking cute. Another staple shoe that I've been wearing religiously are my slip-on loafers. Are these called loafers? I call them my slip-on loafers. These are from Steve Madden. You can find so many different dupes off of Amazon. I just feel so good every time I wear these. It gives businesswoman, boss bitch energy. Another staple shoe for me is a combat boot. I feel like they are so timeless. Like they never go out of style. These have been worn so many times. They're kind of beat up. These are from Dolce Vita. I love my neutrals. So these go with a lot of my outfits. I wanted to show you guys a little outfit that I literally just put together for these combat boots. And I wanted to let you know that you could always dress everything down. This is cute. You could wear a little oversized button up, a little tube top, shorts. You can even substitute the shorts for leggings. I just really like how combat boots look with shorts and this is such a comfy outfit. This button up is seriously so oversized. It's an extra large. This is from Airy. This tube top, honestly, I couldn't even tell you. It is so, so old. These shorts are also from Airy, but you see, you can just throw things together and it all comes together. Last pair of shoes that I'm gonna show you are these clear heels because I just got them from Windsor. I've been wanting a pair of clear block heels for so long. These are more so like a summer shoe, but I'm still gonna rock them whenever I get the chance. I'm actually going to a wedding, so that's why I bought them. Giving Cinderella glass slipper vibes and I'm so here for it. Okay, this is an outfit that I would wear with these heels. Just wearing some denim. I threw on this long sleeve tee that's actually from Windsor. These are from American Eagle. I'll show you a little bit later in the video but with a little heel like how cute how simple you just gotta play around with the things in your wardrobe i think this outfit is so freaking cute so moving on to bottoms i feel like every season we feel like we need to buy every single new thing in every single category but you really don't honestly you can just rewear your same pieces no matter what season maybe switch up the colors I don't want this video to make you feel as if you need to buy a whole new wardrobe, okay? You do not. This is just fun. We're playing dress up for bottoms. These are like my staples right now. As you can tell, the Windsor haul is just kind of mixed in. I want to start off with my staple pair of pants right now. Like, I'm not kidding you. Every chance I get, I am wearing these. These are black trousers. You go on Pinterest, every cool girl is wearing them. And to be honest, I strayed away from them for the longest time because I'm so short and usually tall girlies rock the trousers. But to be honest, I rock them back. They just go with everything. You can dress it down with a t-shirt. You can dress it up with a little corset like the one I'm wearing. But truly, if you're looking for a new pant to spice up your wardrobe because you're sick of jeans, sweatpants, and leggings, try out a trouser. I feel like nobody can look bad in these. They just look 
very cool girl and I'm obsessed with them. Moving on to jeans, I feel like you always need a good black pair and a true denim jean. So these are my two favorite. For black jeans, I have to go with the Princess Polly ones. I normally don't like holes in my jeans because I just, I don't know. I feel like I'm outgrowing the distressed look, but these, are perfect these are so freaking cute they don't have too much of a rip but at the same time they have a rip but it's not too much these fit so freaking well i feel like princess polly really knows what they're doing when it comes to denim these seriously are like my favorite black jeans ever i wear them all the time and then for basic denim jeans these are from american eagle these do have like not a full-blown acid wash to them but they look very vintage-esque worn in oh, i love the color of these jeans definitely more of a straight leg girl i don't really like the skinny jeans which i'm so glad they're not like a huge thing anymore but if they're still yours, girl, rock them. You can literally wear whatever the hell you want. There's no rules to fashion. These jeans just do me wonders. They're also super comfy, which is why I think I love a baggy straight leg jean so much because you can eat as much as you want. They're not like suffocating you. They're still comfy cute. I just threw on a random graphic tee. I honestly sleep in this and I need to style it more. I didn't even do anything crazy. I tucked it in and I added my loafer and it looks so cute, like such a good day outfit. Are you kidding me? I actually think I might wear this to work tomorrow. This is a new bottom that I just purchased off of Windsor. These are brown leather leggings. Really hope they fit because they are so cool. They look so cute too. I would like to say my fashion vibe is very like comfy, chill, cool girl. Did I just call myself cool? Yeah, I did. I cannot wait for these. I feel like these are going to just elevate all of my comfy outfits and look so damn good. Okay, I'm about to try these on for the first time and I'm a little bit scared. Oh, these, these feel tight. Oops. Oh God. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, did I rip them? I think we're good. Wait a minute. I feel like this part looks a little weird. They're super high rise. Holy moly. Like my belly button is right here. Oh, chocolate moments. This is actually really cute. You could go two different ways here. You could do a little white booty or a little brown booty. These are really cute. I feel like the only thing that's awkward is right here. You know what I'm saying? These are definitely like standing up straight pants. This is a corduroy button up that I got from H&M in the men's section. I can't really move in these pants. I feel like I might rip these. One wrong move with some accessories. Is this not cute? Is this cute or what? The pants are a sleigh. The second pair of pants that I got off of Windsor, I could scream. I've also been wanting black leather pants for so long. My favorite influencer, Julia Havens, has an edit with Windsor, which is why I even purchased anything off of Windsor because she has a collab with them and I'm so excited for her. And these were in her edit and I'm so excited because I've been wanting them for so long and it just felt right supporting my favorite influencer. You know what I mean? So the leather feels really good. It doesn't feel cheap. Feels like real leather, even though I don't even think I've ever felt real leather. My car, besides the point, these feel really good. I'm trying on the leather pants now. I have a feeling they're gonna be so long on me. You never know until you try. The waist fits perfectly. These are so long on me. I can literally cover up my feet. <laughs> I don't think I can get away with not getting these hemmed, but these fit perfectly. Otherwise, like the waist, the leg, everything fits so good. They are just extremely long. I'm not gonna lie, I really wanted to style these, but now I'm a little bit depressed because they're a little too, too long on me, but you get the vision. They're so cute, oh my God. I love these pants. We're gonna move on to my next category, which is body suits. I have so many that I ordered off of Windsor. I feel like for me personally, I am trying to get rid of all of my crop tops. I don't know what it is, but I like a little bit more of an elegant look. And sometimes crop tops just make me feel like I'm still in high school. 
said what I said and I don't regret it. So this season, I definitely wanted to stock up on some bodysuits. As you can tell, they are all neutral, so it doesn't really, you know, grab your attention too much. So I can literally style these seven different ways, seven days of the week, and you would not be able to tell. So the first one that I got is this cute little tank top situation. I really loved it because the neckline is so different. It's like kind of cut. The color is gorgeous. It's like a green, it's like a slate gray kind of greenish color, like a taupe-ish. The color was just calling my name and I love how it's like a sweater material. So I feel like it's gonna keep me warm and I can layer with it. Such a good piece. This bodysuit fits amazing. I love the cutout of it because I'm not gonna lie, usually I get like very insecure about my arms, but the way it's cut, I really, I feel like I look flattering, so I'm gonna run with it. And this is exactly how I would style it. I'm obsessed with cargo pants right now. I think they're just, they're cool. They're really cool. I would pair this with my new booties. My toxic trait is buying so much clothes for what friends and what events. Like, I don't got neither of them, but one day. Yo, got this white cropped jean jacket. For sure, this is how I would style it. A white boot means a white jacket and then it doesn't matter what's in between. You know what I mean? Because it balances everything out. You can never have too many white tops and this one from Windsor is a part of their like basic collection. I have the same exact bodysuit in a brown, but I obviously needed the whites. This beautiful cotton material that is super stretchy. So it's very comfortable, very basic layering piece that you can style so many different ways. This is like the definition of a staple piece for your wardrobe. The next bodysuit that I got is just a black tank top bodysuit because I always am looking for tank tops that can be tucked in and they just they honestly piss me off when they like slightly come out so i needed a tank top bodysuit and if you're the same way you like tucking in your tank tops get a black little tank top bodysuit they will save your life and this material is beautiful it's like a silky velvet i don't even know how to describe it but it's so silky and soft it has spaghetti straps with a little v in the front and i wear black all the time i always need like a black tank top for something i can't believe i don't already have this if i'm being completely honest the last bodysuit that i got is this beautiful knitted black v-neck bodysuit so basic but it's a sweater so uh, this is gonna just be perfect for the fall and even the winter because it is a little bit on the thicker side. That's the one thing I've always noticed with Windsor. The quality is there. Like it is so freaking good. This is not a sponsored video, but by all means, Windsor, if you wanna sponsor me, hit me up in this collab. Corset tops. I am obsessed with them. I need to order more. This one really caught my eye when I was on the Windsor website. I didn't know when I ordered it, but it's like the felt material, super buttery, soft, like wool almost. Oh, it's so pretty. It has the little clips in the front so you can unbutton as much as you want. It has adjustable straps as well. And the plaid print oh, for full, anything plaid is so freaking cute. Maybe this is me getting lazy, but this top with sweatpants and the boots I think it might be a look. Okay, why is this actually cute? I'm always trying to style sweatpants in a way where it's like appropriate. And I think this is appropriate. These boots are going to be worn so many times. I am obsessed. Next is the number one layering piece you need. This is from Windsor that I just purchased. This is a sleeveless turtleneck. You can literally wear this underneath anything you want for a little extra warm. And it's a tank top, so you could also wear like a long sleeve under it, style it that way. And I also thought this was super unique because the bottom of the top is on a diagonal, which was so weird, which I thought was cool. Honestly, I'm just gonna tuck this in because you can't even notice the diagonal of the shirt. But this is cute. Next category, which I only have one for, but that's okay, you get the point, a cardigan. Think of a cardigan as a little blanket that you can wear, but also style to make cute. I personally feel like a black cardigan goes so much farther than any other color because black obviously goes with everything. This one is from American Eagle and it's so buttery soft. It's also super stretchy. It has pockets. You can honestly keep a cardigan in your car too. I feel like that's something that you should have in your emergency kit. You never know. We have button ups and flannels because it's flannel season. And this one I will not be able to link because I got it from Dick Sporting Goods a long time ago and it's so old. I feel like flannels last you a lifetime. So 
You can literally even thrift some flannels and call it a damn day. This is a new one that I just got from Windsor. This is actually a shacket. And just look at this coloring. Just look at the colors. Oh my God, it's neutral. I feel like since the base color is a neutral, this would even look good with brown, even though there's black in it. It is thicker, so that's why I'm calling it a shacket because you can wear it as a shirt, but you can also wear it as a jacket. Oh, so cute. Okay, hear me out. Might actually be a very ugly idea, a very ugly outfit. If I had knee high boots, I would so wear this jacket as a dress. I have biker shorts on underneath, so I'm covered completely, but with knee high boots and this like, you know, pop the collar a little bit, I would so wear this as a dress. Even if I wore, I don't know, maybe, oh, I wish I had more, I wish I had more clothes. Even with these boots, some black stockings and like a black skirt, that would be really cute. But you see the vision, the things that I would do with this jacket. That is pumpkin patch shit. The next button up that I wanna show you is kind of underrated, is a sheer button up. A sheer button up. Super classy, elegant, at the same time, a little bit risky because you could wear like a full blown tank top underneath or like with a little bralette, you could button it up all the way and it's just like a little bit of sexiness. You can wear it so many different ways. I've been wearing it so freaking much lately. My new obsession is a leather bomber from Garage. I feel like there's two different types of girls in the world. One that loves the leather jackets, which I do, but then there's also the girls that love the bomber jackets because it's more so casual. And I'm the mixture of both. I love leather and I love a good bomber. So this was perfect when I seen it. I just literally had to have it and it is such a staple for the fall, the winter season coming up. Oh, I love it so much. All right guys, a million outfits later and that is a wrap. Thanks for playing dress up with me and I hope you enjoyed this video and gained some inspiration. Let me know if you wanna see more of these styling videos cause I had so much fun, even though I feel like I don't really know what I'm talking about. But sincerely, I really do hope you enjoyed this video and understand that fashion is supposed to be fun play around with it, express yourself, wear whatever the hell you want. The world is your runway and the only opinion you should care about is your own. Love you all so, so much and I'll see you in my next video. Yeah, I know I look good. Yeah, I look fly.